Hi everyone, my name is King Ivy, and this is Introduction to Python. And in today's lesson, I'm going to be showing you how to use strings in Python, which is very similar. You'll see a lot of similarities with numbers, uh, but it is still very useful and very handy. I'm also going to show you how to print as well. So for example, here we can go, hi King or in double quotations, where you can also go high king in single quotation. You can't mix them. So for example, if I go high king, started with a beginning, ended with a double quotation, a beginning with a single quotation, ended with double quotation, not gonna work. Uh, so you do have to be consistent on that. But if, for example, if you want to quote something, turn something to a string that has a single quotation already, like an apostrophe, then you need to do something different. So for example, here, if I go, don't take my car, uh, then it won't work. But you can, for example, do double quotation, take my car, and then that'll work out perfectly. But for example, if you try to do, uh, and also that way around. So for example, here, if you try to do my input quote car in quotation, it's not gonna work. But you can all, you, but you can counter that by doing, uh, since there's double quotation in the string, you can do single quotation around it. But if you try to do both, so for example here, don't, take my car that's not going to work so in this case what you have to do is don't take my what you have to do is call escaping the character is put a slash in front car in front of each quotation that's consistent with the uh, sorry wrong way you gotta, you gotta put a quotation in front of uh, each one and then that will work so it looks like it puts a slasher in front, but don't worry too much about that. If, for example, we were to print it, so to print, you just say the word print, put it in bracket, and then uh, there you go, so that you'll see it worked out uh, perfectly. What happens if, for example, you want to have something that has backslash, or yeah, backslash some character or some word? So, for example, here, if I had, if I were to try to do my map of my drives here or provide a file path, I might say night, for example. Going that, what you'll see here is it pasted, it printed out C drive, did a break in the line because backslash N is a break in the line, then it produced the rest of it. So if I want to fix that, what I would do, let me just type the whole thing out again, is before my string, I would type in the word letter R. And what R does is it turns into raw characters as opposed to taking consideration all these special functions and features and then it'll show it uh, perfectly. You can also, for example, uh, do some multiplication. So for example, here you can go times five and then it'll print it out five times. If you want to break those out into four different characters, then what you can do is do plus quotation backslash n. In this case, we actually want a backslash n because it's gonna break the line. It's gonna put a uh, break in the line, which means go to the next line print it five times and and there you go so it's a really useful technique and you can for example combine strings here uh, by doing plus signs how are you and it's really simple pretty simple technique you can use multiplication combine strings with pluses do prints uh, take into consideration the escape characters by doing the backslash doing the backslashes in front of the quotations. And when you want to put the backslashes in, uh, think about putting R. And I recommend that you put R in front of most of your strings just because it's going to spit out the raw character in case you, unless you actually want the, the special feature. So if you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave it in the comment section below. Uh, if you find this video helpful, give it a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe and I look forward to speaking to you next time. Thank you.